you're gonna start with the primer the primer I'm using is from Maybelline and I'm gonna prime my t-zone area wherever I feel my skin gets very oily once that is done we're gonna move on to our foundation the foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal true match foundation and I'm, and I'm applying this all over my face with my fingers first and then blending it out with a beauty blender you know the drill this is exactly the technique that I do every day so I'm just gonna follow this step very quickly so once you're done applying the foundation, you're gonna move on to the concealer. I already have a video on how I apply my concealer in detail, so I'll leave the link below in the bottom bar. Please don't forget to check it out. So once that is done, you're gonna move on to our brows. I'm just gonna fill my brows very quickly and I'm again gonna fast forward this because I already have a tutorial in detail where I show you how I do my brows. Before moving on to our eyes, we are gonna first complete our rest of our face by bronzing, applying blusher and highlighter and everything and then we are gonna move on to our eyes. For contouring, I'm using this Makeup Revolution palette and I'm using the orangey brown color to bronze up my face and using the dark brown color to carve out my cheekbones and also applying the same bronzing shade uh, in my jawline area as well and I'm doing a little bit of nose contouring with the dark brown shade in it. So once our contouring and bronzing is done, we are going to move on to blusher. For blusher, I'm using this very pretty uh, peachy pink color from the Savannah Colors palette and applying it on my cheeks. And then we are going to move on to highlighting and this is one of my favorite highlighters. I use this all the time and this is from Savannah Colors and I'm applying this highlighter at the highest points of my cheeks on my t-zone area that is the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. So for my eyes, we are going to just pick up this very light baby pink color from the Savannah Blush palette and I'm applying this all over my eyelids as well as my transition shade. So once our eyeshadow is done, we are going to move on to our eyeliner and for that I'm using the Lacme Shine eyeliner and this is my favorite eyeliner at this moment. You all must have seen me mentioning about it in my August favorites. It is absolutely divine and I'm applying a very thick and long wing. And now comes the fun part and that is the glitter eyeliner I'm gonna be applying this silver glitter eyeliner and I'm gonna start by applying it from the middle of uh, our eyes and work my way through the outline of the wing that we've already created with a black wing so what you want to do with the glitter eyeliner is first you start from the middle of your wing that you've already created and then work your way through the outline once your outline is done you can build up the wing as you want it as thick as you want it by again following the same outline so i hope this was helpful and you all understood what i have exactly done so once your wing is done i just applied some mascara and falsies and then i'm gonna move on to this white eyeliner from lacme and applying it in my lower waterline just for my eyes to look a little bit more bright and awake and then i'm applying a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes and that's it your eyes are done so to highlight your inner corners, I'm using this L'Oreal eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this very pale pink glittery color and applying it in my inner corners. And I'm also using the same color to highlight my brow bone area as well. So everything is done, only thing remaining is our lips and for that I am first gonna line my lips with this Maybelline beige eyeliner, eyeliner? Sorry, lip liner and once that is done we are gonna use this Colourpop liquid lipstick in the color Tune and apply it on our lips and that's it, our makeup look is done. Isn't it very easy to do, I'm telling you, 
practice is gonna make you ace this look and I hope you like it. So guys, I just finished with the makeup look and yeah, I think it just turned out perfect. I love the way it looks and I hope you will like it as well. And if you do like the makeup look that I came up with, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see any other makeup looks or reviews or anything related to makeup or anything other than makeup as well, please don't forget to comment in the comments below. And yeah, that's what I want to say in this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!